Welcome to Dilki Awaz with Yamini and Namrata. How are you, Yamini? Oh, doing good. How are you doing? I am doing good. So today we are talking about uh, social media. Thank you. I read somewhere social media is about the people, not about your business. Provide for the people, and the people will provide for you. Today, in our in focus segment, we will be talking about a startup company called Conversei. This company has nothing to do with Converse shoes, listeners. <laughs> it starts with a K. So if you when you Google Converse I, it's K O N V E R S A I. Converse I is the world's largest database of personal knowledge. This company is changing the way people use social media. So would you like to introduce our guest today, Amini? Ah uh, yes. So we have Sushma Sharma uh, here in our studio today. She is a lawyer turned entrepreneur. She has double masters from University of Oxford and Columbia University. Has lived and worked on Wall Street as a corporate lawyer, doing billions of dollars in transactions. Lived and worked in Hong Kong, heading a department at the university. Taught thousands of students and has continuously looked for her passion for last twenty years. She is the founder and chief executive officer of Conversei. Conversei is a Silicon Valley startup and. world's first marketplace for live video conversations conversai is the culmination of all her life's learning conversai is her is that passion welcome sushma thank you so much yamini welcome thank sushma you, first question to you sushma is what led you to the origin of conversai and how did you come up with this unique idea well there is a long story for that and sure. a short story <laughs> so i'll try and stick to the short story okay. because i'm sure you have more questions which are you know have more relevance so i moved to california 2 years ago and um everybody who has relocated knows the pains of relocation so when we were moving from hong kong i knew that it's going to be painful for the first 6 months i've moved okay. multiple times and that was fine but when we came here we had another additional issue which was my daughter was not well so my husband was still in hong kong we were here she was not well and that's when i realized that i would pay to talk to someone who's going through what she was going through i have hundreds and thousands of friends all over the world <laughs> okay. and i always um, you know prized myself as a big extrovert having lots of friends but here i wasn't looking just for a friend i was looking to talk to someone who could help me through this situation and i didn't find that person eventually i found this person 7 months later and mm-hmm. i when i met her i was like where were you 6 months ago <laughs> because if i had met you 6 months ago mm-hmm. my life would have been so much easier True. and i think that little nugget was the origin of conversai for me okay. because why can't we talk to someone about substance when we desperately need it and mm. i do not mean blogging i do not mean writing on the net searching none of those live conversation with someone mm. why can't we do that yeah. and when that happened literally every issue i have always any time struggled with came together for me mm-hmm. all the people have so much knowledge nothing no place to share it stay at home parents no place to share it why are we not engaging them in our society True. in a meaningful way okay. and for me conversai gave the answer to that let's mm-hmm. do it let's just create that place where we come together find someone with your answer the knowledge that you are seeking mm-hmm. and talk to them live one on one on video Perfect. Wow. We we wow. have the tools. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I read it in your website that no matter where we are in the world what sort of device we are using we can exchange personal knowledge through a live video conversation. Any conversation one can imagine, any knowledge one can dream of becomes accessible through Conversei. How well did you know that what you were doing in planning the commercial strategy and how do you plan to make money? So obviously that deals with the whole business side of it. So mm-hmm. idea obviously is to put people together. right mm-hmm. we had to struggle i had to struggle personally through whether to make it free or whether to monetize it i am not a person who believes in free for anything mm-hmm. anything valuable has a price so the first thing that i did was that there has to be money involved in it because i treasure your time i value it i value my time i value your time and for that you need to charge me something and if you don't want it you might not need the money it's completely fine you donate it we are going to give you provisions or ways to donate that money that we will give you but please charge for it even when it seems like it's a free conversation you'll be charged couple of credits oh. which is just to use the forum and which is very minimal it's so little that you'll say oh well that's nothing sushma and i agree it's nothing but i don't want it to be free because then it fills up with crap which i don't want <laughs> yeah, so i want true. conversations mm-hmm. i want people to be accountable for what they are talking about yeah, so for that 
we people make boxes for their knowledge bases mm -hmm. so let's say i can teach math i can teach guitar each one will have a box mm -hmm. with like i can charge you 30 dollars for 30 minutes for my guitar class or i can charge you 10 dollars to talk about studying at harvard uh, for 30 minutes so all these are different provider boxes that mm -hmm. you have and we take a cut out of that if that okay. conversation takes place mm -hmm. you can do a free conversation and that will include just one credit okay. which is 50 cents nothing and we give you initially a lot of free credits okay. you recommend friends we give you free credits mm -hmm. But we don't want people to believe that things which are valuable is free. Free. That yeah. is so, so we important. Have yeah. <clears throat> three to four revenue models already in yeah. place, mm -hmm. which are working. Mm -hmm. We are not that old. We are brand new. Mm -hmm. So we literally opened our site up to public last Friday. Yes. So oh, it's, oh, okay. yes. it's actually Recently. literally yeah. three days old. So membership yes. is free? It's free. Okay. It's totally mm -hmm. free. We okay. want everyone to come. Okay. Anyone and everyone, because okay. the belief, core belief is that every single human being in the world mm -hmm. has value, has yes. something to yeah. offer, mm -hmm. whatever your knowledge base is. You yeah. don't need to exaggerate. Just whatever you know, put it out there. There is someone in the world yeah. who is seeking to learn that. Yes, true. And you yes. will find takers. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm already a member, Namrata. Oh, you must do <laughs> wonderful. I will definitely <laughs> so if, become a member. Yeah, so and if you want to talk to if Yamini not a provider face to face. Or a seeker. <laughs> yeah, on video. Provider definitely. or a seeker, right? Yes. 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 Oh. And every one of us have some strengths. Yeah, yeah and we, we want to. Yeah, and I was seeing, I read the Conversai blogs, and I could see that you're uh, engaging a lot of uh, people who are retired and yes. stay-at-home moms, moms mm -hmm. and college students, which is great because, uh, you know, these are the people who do have a little bit of time on hand. Like for retirees, they have a lot of experience yes. mm -hmm. and time on hand. Stay-at-home moms too can, you know, find time and they have their own skills and own knowledge. So I think that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. But my ma next question to you, Sushma, is that a lot of focus is being placed on personalization these days. And uh, it is a little scary to tell you the truth because when I, you know, browse the internet for maybe shoes or maybe I'm looking for jewelry, the next few days or weeks, my feed on Facebook or w whatever uh, social network I'm on will be filled with shoes. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I just <laughs> pressed a button and there's like 100 mm -hmm. shoes in front of me. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to say about internet privacy or lack of it? And how do you uh, manage that on Conversai? Because it's a live video uh, chat platform. So there is a place for privacy. There is a place for anonymity. Okay. Uh, but on our side, first, number one, your private information will never be public, okay? okay? That will stay with the company, but it will never be publicized unless you want to. You can choose okay. to say, I am Yamini and I run this radio show and I will talk okay. to, because you choose who you talk so you to. Mm. set it accordingly. You can to set your, it accordingly. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So that's the first thing that we maintain that. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe um, in advertising thrown advertisements yeah. basically thrown at you uh -huh. because that can become just painful yes i don't promise that we will never <laughs> have any advertising in the future mm. but it will be targeted and it will be so subtle that it will be sponsored boxes and stuff like that okay. but we won't have things thrown at people when they don't want yeah, it just popping because up. that is just painful yes it's okay. like i don't even go to youtube these days because i'm like okay you're gonna first make me watch these five ads exactly. and then you will, unless and until you pay for it yeah so again you will see if you pay for it okay. you get quality so i do believe that certain sections in our basically on our platform will probably get people who want to maintain a lot of privacy, okay. especially in the side of medicine. Yeah. Uh, we want, I really want that section to grow, mm -hmm. but I, I'm not pushing it right now because we need to build our reputation first mm -hmm. as a site which ha you can trust. Mm -hmm. And once we do that, we want people to come out and talk about their experiences in the medical field and Ooh. the experience they had. Yeah. And for that, they might not want to discuss their names or where they live and all oh, that. And okay. we're totally fine with that. Okay. So you will have a username. You can call yourself Snowflake. Uh, you can call oh, yourself okay. anything you want. Yeah. Yeah. You can also <laughs> show your actual name, which is completely fine. Mm -hmm. And you can also opt out to not show your actual name. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. You have all these choices yeah. that you can make. Yeah. Uh, so I was reading a quote by Reid Hoffman, who's the LinkedIn co-founder. And he says, all humans are entrepreneurs, not because they should start companies, but because the will to create is encoded in human DNA. What do you feel is the major difference between entrepreneurs and those who work for someone else? And I know, Sushma, you've been a lawyer all through your life, basically. <laughs> you can say 20 years, you practice law, you have worked for someone. Now you are an entrepreneur. Uh, what sacrifices uh, have you had to make to being a successful entrepreneur? And how did it affect your family life? Well, I was a lawyer for over six years in New York, and then I was a professor. In both instances, I was working for an organization. And this is the first time that I'm actually working for myself, in a way. The dynamics are very different when you're working for someone else, because the ultimate responsibility to train you, to get the work out of you, lies with someone else. Yes, you can be proactive about things, but you know that the work is coming from somewhere at least at a junior level. When you're a senior, it's totally different. But at a junior level, when you're starting, you are focusing all solely on yourself and your development. And I think that's very key. And there is a huge positive to it that someone is helping you grow as an individual, learning different things. Mm. At the university, I was heading my own department and all of that. So that was a mix in some way. Mm -hmm. It was a lot like a bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. So that was very different, private sector, public sector kind of thing. And then I found it moved way too slow for my comfort. Even when I was given a lot of freedom to do things, there, were, there was a lot of just paperwork, which I thought was a huge waste of time. Mm -hmm. But the impact they have is much greater, mm -hmm. much greater than what you can do in the private sector. So each organization or sector has a positive and has a way what you can learn from it. Okay. So I can't say one is good, one is bad. But entrepreneurship is hard, is just plain hard. It's very nice and sounds very glamorous to say, hey, I'm going to start something new. But you are the person where the basically everything ends. This is what I told my co-founder last week that, hey, I cannot afford to take a sick day. Mm. <laughs> I cannot yes. afford to even be sick mm. because if I'm sick for two weeks, everything slows down. You can't do that. So that kind of responsibility is huge and you need to be ready for it. Mm. You have other people who are relying on you. Your whole company, your philosophy is relying on you. So there's a different dynamic there. So you have to be ready for it and the pressure and everything. You can't go in. And that's something I've seen in the Valley. Trust me, I, am, I love that I live here. And I love the fact that this gave me an opportunity to start something new. But I have seen lots of entrepreneurs who are creating things, believing that they want to sell it in six months or one year. I'm like, that is not passion. Hmm. And without Quick passion, money, everybody yeah, wants yeah, yeah. like, so okay. That starting. is not entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. That is not what will make your company successful. Mm -hmm. If you're not putting your everything yeah. in it, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. As far as family life, you're all in. Mm -hmm. So if your family is not supportive, it's going to be very, right. very hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. I have my husband who's like 200% in it, mm -hmm. who supports mm -hmm. I have my daughter who's nine, mm -hmm. but who is equally curious and interested and always wants to be involved. Mm -hmm. And she is a huge part of it. She has seen it from day one. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that kind of setup for, you know, good growth, mm -hmm. but otherwise also, but the yeah. passion drives you. Yes, passion yeah. drives you. I understand. Correct. And uh, it's wonderful uh, to know that you have a lot of people who are supporting family and otherwise supporting yes. you and your cause. And uh, listeners, you are listening to Sushma Sharma, CEO of uh, Conversai. Sushma, we are living in a society where there's a huge disconnect among people in spite of the digital connection. We are logged on 24-7. Uh, recently, I had given my car for servicing, you know, and parenting has changed somehow. I was just sitting there for half an hour mm. and most of the parents were on the phone and the kids were just circling around them, mom, dad. My kids are much older now, so I say, okay, maybe we were better parents that time. <laughs> but b there's a disconnect and uh, uh, there's a human connection that is lacking. Uh, we have become desensitized to everyday calamities and information has become more like a commodity now. So do you think Conversai is changing that uh, as far as uh, communication among people is concerned? And uh, is it only by video that uh, people can connect on Conversai? So where do you place Conversai in the social media? I would call it that it has a contrarian view. Okay. And um, I, as you started off, you have a lot of people who support you. I agree. Yeah. I do. 
but there were a lot of people who did not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have dealt with that too. Mm-hmm. A lot of people who said... Like you started. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. not going to work. True, true. You know, this is totally different dynamic that you you have. Your yeah. company has a totally different philosophy than what the other companies have. Uh, and they are, again, going after literally mass media, just throwing information at people. Yes. And people are just sitting and absorbing all of that instead of interacting. And yeah. I am asking people to slow down and actually... Okay, you, I'm not going to say don't use technology. It's no, there. that's use it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have to. <laughs> what I'm saying is now use it for your benefit. Mm-hmm. So use it in an interactive way. Mm-hmm. So in that way we are different. Okay. And in that what I'm saying is do it one on one. Talk to one person at a time and not frivolous chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk about something useful, some mm-hmm. knowledge, learn something, mm-hmm. teach something, share yeah. something or just discuss something which you both have in common. Mm-hmm. Collaborate on things. Make it less about, hey, I'm looking cool, my vacation, my party. Yeah. Instead, <laughs> make it meaningful. And that could be that I like to draw or paint or do origami or I know Spanish, hmm. any of those things. So in that way, it's different. Yeah. We are bringing the human back in technology. That's Good what it to is. to hear that, yeah. Because <laughs> the technology is r- growing at a speed we can't right now capture. And humans, in some way, are stagnant and isolated. Mm-hmm. That we are just yeah. sitting there and let it, seeing I technology is growing so fast mm-hmm. and we can't do anything yeah. about it. Mm-hmm. And we can't mm-hmm. even catch up to it. Mm-hmm. The attempt for this company is, for Conversai is, that we're going to make humans grow, not at that pace, mm-hmm. but in some pace at least to catch up. We can't be sitting and saying, hey, let AI do the job, let the robots do the job, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to sit, the cobbler, the app is there, someone's going to come pick up the shoe and take it and polish, and I don't interact in the whole day with mm-hmm. a single human mm-hmm. being. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we want to change that. Mm-hmm. If the interaction is through technology, then we're going to use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Use mm-hmm. that for meaningful conversations. Yeah, make mm-hmm. it more personal. Make it personal, personal, make your life, yeah. make Smile a little. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Talk to someone. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, do some, Just yeah. the art of conversation. Yeah, right? it's like, like that's extremely what important. What we completely forget yes. is yeah. that we are not there for technology. It's mm-hmm. the other way around. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It is there for us. <laughs> yes. So it should serve us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the way we should treat it. Mm. Good answer. I read a nice quote by co-founder of Twitter, Biz Stone. He says, timing, perseverance, and 10 years of trying will eventually make you look like an overnight success. Okay. And I want to talk about these young entrepreneurs. We live in Silicon Valley and you would see how many young entrepreneurs, they're in high schools and they want to achieve something. They want to be entrepreneurs. They want to start their company and they want to do something out of the world. What three pieces of advice do you have? I would like to give college students who want to become entrepreneurs. See, everybody's journey is not the same. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. It depends. People say ideas don't matter because what matters basically is execution. I think they both matter. If you don't have a good idea, you can keep executing and come up with something nonsense which won't last long. So firstly, to even know that this is an idea which is filling someone's need, to understand the depth. I think maturity is key Mm -hmm. in understanding what people need. Okay, I'm totally taking out that group which is completely living in a world of its own in a tech world and coming up with something which an app or a device or something which has nothing to do with people. Take those out. But if you are trying to build anything for people, you need to first understand people. Mm -hmm. And for that, Mm -hmm. don't rush. What's the rush? You're in your 20s. You're Mm -hmm. in your teens. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to live, probably going to live up to 100. You have a lot of time. There is no need to win a you know, a singing competition when you're eight years old. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do when you're 20, 30, 40, 50, and 80? So you've got to pace your life, make it fun. Mm -hmm. But I also felt that's one thing. Don't Mm -hmm. rush. There is time for you. But keep dreaming. Second, and I think I found it useful, and at that time, if you had asked me this 10 years ago, I may not have said this, (laughs) that you learn Mm -hmm. when you work in big organizations, you learn how it's run how people work together, how the chemistry works, how the human resource works, how maybe people make decisions. All of that, you need to learn that. If you want to build one, Mm -hmm. you better know how one works. So that's the second thing. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the final for college students would be learn to have fun. You know, there is time when you will say, oh, I wish I was in my 20s and I had done that. So do all that. Don't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. Have fun and make friends. Mm-hmm. as many as you can when you're that young because it gets harder the older you yeah, get yeah. Mm-hmm. So more responsibilities create, yeah but make friends make yeah. friends have fun but I would say the two things is get jobs mm-hmm. start yes. learn how to become accountable for mm-hmm. your job your profile whatever you paid for mm-hmm. and I think in 
one of the things we do at Conosai, we're trying to do is do bite-sized work. Mm. Tutor someone, yeah. teach someone, mm. try and make some money and see what review you get. Mm. And if you get a review two out of five, then you know that you have to improve, exactly. mm. that you have to work for your $20. <laughs> Learn all that mm. and then start dreaming big. Mm. There's no one stopping you. Don't leave your dreams, but mm -hmm. plan properly. Mm. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. Great piece of advice for yes, all these young really, entrepreneurs. Yeah. I don't think they'll agree. <laughs> when you're in the they zone, they don't. They never agree. No, when you're <laughs> in the zone. Talking to pilot students. <laughs> yeah, you know, my son is also has, has his own company, but he's also taking classes at San Jose State, and he's approaching entrepreneurship. But the thing is, they are, I can see, they're very antsy. You know, they don't have patience yeah, to, young. to, to think okay. it over. They said, oh, I know everything. Yeah. I know how a company runs. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, because, mm -hmm. Okay, I, not in your son's case, but, mm. you know, it's an experience. Mm -hmm. Give yes. it a shot. Yes. Okay, you can mm. always go and work for another company. So you want to try? Okay, go yeah. try it. Don't stop yourself mm. yeah, because exactly. you'll regret. Try it and yeah. see how it goes. Yes. And don't be afraid that it doesn't work. And don't be afraid of failures because... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes, exactly. that's, that's, that's most okay. important. Most important, uh, right? Listeners, we are talking about uh, Conversai, a startup uh, company. Conversai enables meaningful conversation between people over live videos. Live video conversation is the return to future for human interactions. And uh, Conversai is providing that platform. So time is finished, Sushma. So how can people log on and get on uh, to Conversai and start be a provider or a seeker concept, you said? Mm -hmm. So can you explain a little bit of yeah, how people can... Yeah, I'll go very quick. So okay. now that the site is open, mm -hmm. it, we are still in beta, but we are open to everyone. You can go on www.conversai.com, log in. There is, you can sign up. Uh, when you sign up, you make a small profile for yourself, okay. and then you can go create a provider box or create a seeker box. So when you create a provider box, you pick uh, if you whatever category you are in. So mm -hmm. let's say you study at a college, you study at Santa Clara, you study at Stanford, you say, college, Stanford, I can talk to somebody in high school who is looking at Stanford, mm -hmm. and I will charge $30 for 30 minutes. So you pick all that. You can also choose to show that you are giving this money for charity or you're going to keep it as an income. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Okay. Both are very good, basically. Both are acceptable and very good, encouraged. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can choose any of those and then you just publish it and then it's published in the right category so people oh. when they're searching they can find you okay. so if somebody comes to the site says do another search and say hey i'm looking to talk to someone at howard hmm. your box will come up and all they have to do is okay. book a session with you after that okay. and then you guys fix a time okay. there you can give five or four okay. options uh -huh. you can decide on a time okay and you have a video okay. conversation just how does mm. the payment work yes so the payment yeah. we are using stripe now, Stripe okay. uh, is a very well-known platform, uh, at least in the U.S., okay. and this is where we are, I would say, in beta stage, mm -hmm. because Stripe only works in 25 countries right now. Okay. Anybody from anywhere in the world can pay, can be a okay. seeker, mm -hmm. but to accept payment, the way Stripe is that if I pay $30, you will get it in your bank account, a certain percentage, almost 89 to 90% will go in your bank account directly. Mm. So even if you charge $5, you will receive $4.20 okay. or $4.30 yeah. because it's a percentage mm -hmm. base. Mm -hmm. But it's only 25 countries right now. Okay. So we are really working now mm -hmm. to take that, include, especially include um, India and mm -hmm. China mm -hmm. and Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for that, <laughs> it will be there in, I think, five weeks. Okay. Wow. We are working with the other providers mm -hmm. who can do that because that's a market we really want to mm -hmm. link up. So, jate jate inka, I want to just say they're one of the mission statements. It says, mm -hmm. our mission is to democratize knowledge, put human back into the heart of technology and make the world a better place. One person, one connection and one conversation at a time. Save Wonderful. Thank you thank so much, yeah. Sushma, for uh, no, coming. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, thank, no, thank you for coming to uh, Dil Ki Awaaz, Sushma. Mm -hmm. And all the, best, all the best uh, with Conversai. Till then, Dil Ki Awaaz, Dabaiye Nahi Bhadkaiye. Nahi Bhadkaiye. Nahi Bhadkaiye. Nahi Bhadkaiye.